When there isn't enough water available for a prolonged period of time to meet the requirements of people, animals, and plants, a drought arises. This happens when there is a prolonged period of less precipitation than normal in a certain location, such as rain, snow, sleet, or hail, for a length of time that causes the availability of water to decrease. In most regions owing to climate, droughts are a natural phenomenon and have occurred throughout history. A drought in Chile about 9,500 BCE was linked to migrations of hunter-gatherers. Between 250,000 and 3.25 million people perished in India during another previous drought around 1900. Between 1921 and 1922, a famine that killed 5 million people in the Soviet Union was caused by a drought. In Australia, the Millennium Drought started in 1997 and lasted for 13 years. It resulted in a nationwide water problem for the most part. Due to a lack of precipitation or fresh water from other sources, people finally constructed desalination facilities for the first time to turn salt water into potable water. In 2010, the drought finally came to an end. The majority of droughts are brought on by anomalies in normal weather patterns that impact the water cycle. Variations in atmospheric circulation patterns can cause storm trajectories to be postponed for several months or even years. The quantity of precipitation that a location typically gets might be significantly impacted by this interruption. The way that moisture is absorbed in various places can also be influenced by wind patterns. Certain droughts and climatic trends have been connected by scientists. El Niño is a meteorological phenomenon characterized by an increase in surface water temperature in the Pacific Ocean along the central coast of South America. Droughts in Indonesia, Australia, and the northeastern region of South America are associated with warmer oceans, which also alter storm patterns. Every two to seven years, El Niño arrives, leaving climate experts wondering. La Nina, which happens when the Pacific Ocean's surface water cools off the coast of South America, is the exact opposite of El Niño. Greater sea levels cause drier than normal weather in parts of North and South America, which in turn affects storm patterns. El Niño and La Nina usually persist for around a year. Compared to El Niño, La Nina usually has more complicated effects on weather patterns. Two of the most destructive droughts in U.S. history, the Dust Bowl of the 1930s and the Midwest Drought of 1988 have been connected to the impacts of La Nina. The characteristics of meteorological droughts include high temperatures, dry winds, and low humidity. The absence of precipitation or atmospheric moisture is what sets this sort of drought apart. A water crisis might emerge from these circumstances if they last for a long time, but they can also happen fast. Reduced air moisture and negative effects on soil moisture are characteristics of agricultural droughts. The effects of this type of drought on crops and animals are identical to those of meteorological droughts. Moreover, food shortages are a common outcome of prolonged drought, especially for items derived from farms. A hydrological drought happens when a region has less precipitation, which results in a scarcity of surface water and groundwater resources. Insufficient precipitation leads to an excessive dependence on surface or groundwater for energy and agriculture. These droughts can lead to a certain climatic type even when they do not correspond with it. It takes a long time for a socioeconomic drought to get to this point and much longer for a region to emerge from one. A reduction in the availability of goods and services including food, electricity, and drinking water characterizes a drought. 
The restricted quantity of water that is accessible may be strained by population increase or an excessive demand for such supplies. Mass migration was an unanticipated effect of the Dust Bowl. In an effort to find employment, farmers and their families were forced to go elsewhere. By 1940, 2.5 million people had left the Great Plains. Of them, 200,000 moved to California. Increased violence, unemployment, and poverty were the results of the Great Depression's aggravated economic conditions brought on by the migrant wave. Half of the continental United States was affected by drought in the 1950s when it returned to the southern United States and the Great Plains. Low rains combined with high heat practically cut crop production in half in certain locations. Hay became too expensive, so ranchers were compelled to feed their animals molasses and prickly pear cactus. Of the 254 counties in Texas, 244 had been declared federal drought disaster districts by the time the five-year drought ended in 1957. In the late 1980s, the United States had one of the costliest droughts on record. Three years of extreme heat and little precipitation decimated the Corn Belt's yields. $39 billion is the total cost of all losses related to energy, water, the environment, and agriculture. Many farmers benefited from federal aid programs, but it would be more challenging for the government to provide support across the country if the drought persisted. The United States is still plagued by droughts. 2011 was the driest year in state history of Texas, which has been experiencing drought since 2010. In a September 2012 National Geographic magazine article, Texas was labeled the New Dust Bowl, and by 2013, drought was affecting 99% of the state. Another frequent occurrence in Australia is drought. The past 10 years have been especially severe, earning the terms Big Dry and Millennium Drought. A large portion of the nation was placed under water restrictions, the dry weather caused wildfires, and several dams saw water levels drop below 25%. In 2007, 65% of Australia's arable land was considered to be under drought. The formal end of the drought was announced in April 2012. Droughts may do a great deal more damage in developing nations. The eight nations that make up the African Sahel area had a series of droughts in the 1970s and 1980s that caused annual rainfall to drop by about 40%. In the early 1970s, millions of people were forced to evacuate and more than 100,000 people perished. The region's problems have been made worse by drought, population growth, subpar harvests, and excessive food costs. Since 2000, there have been four declarations of drought emergencies in the area. In the Horn of Africa, which encompasses Ethiopia, Somalia, Eritrea, and Djibouti, droughts are particularly deadly. Famine often follows drought because, as mentioned earlier, 80% of the population lives in rural areas and depends on agriculture for both food and money. Competition over the limited remaining resources in the area might lead to conflict and violence. Between 1984 and 1985, the Horn of Africa saw one of the worst droughts of the 20th century. UN estimates show that the drought killed 1.5 million animals, 1 million people in Ethiopia alone, and 8.7 million people were impacted by it by being hospitalized, forced to relocate, or forced to change careers. At least 7 million animals perished in Sudan, 1 million humans perished there, and 7.8 million people were impacted. Since 2000, the region has seen cycles of drought, starvation, and violence, with drought conditions resurfacing every few years. In 2006, a 
drought that afflicted 11 million people in the Horn of Africa resulted in a catastrophe that affected an additional 13 million people and resulted in between 50,000 and 100,000 deaths. Just as there are many kinds of repercussions, there are different kinds of droughts. Aside from a shortage of drinking water, droughts may have serious and negative effects on the environment, the economy, and society. Lower water levels, more severe water pollution, drained wetlands, bigger and more frequent fires, and sickly trees and plants are a few of the negative effects on the ecosystem. Moreover, they may result in a decline in biodiversity and a rise in the prevalence of diseases and pests. The economic ramifications encompass reduced productivity in gaming and fishing, agricultural losses, and increased costs associated with food production. Losses from tourists and companies that use water for industry are also included, as are reduced energy levels in hydroelectric facilities. Lastly, increased pollution and a decline in human health are two societal effects of droughts. They may also lead to higher food costs, stress, and a greater divide between wealthy and developing nations. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more educational videos.